and all pious and orthodox Christians. May the Lord our God remember. Do you remember the first time you wore the vestments? I do. I was in uh, I was in a little uh, uh, ramshackle apartment in Jerusalem, Israel. Um, I was ordained in the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem in the year 2000, and uh, it was the night before my ordination. I was there to be ordained because my parish was a parish of the Jerusalem Patriarchate, mm -hmm. and so there I was and trying on my vestments because I didn't hadn't tried on any vestments. This was about an hour before I was about to be ordained. I figured I should probably try some on, <laughs> and so I did and. I'll never forget. That was the night that the first Intifada began. So I was being ordained in the Holy Sepulchre, the tomb of Jesus Christ, where he rose from the dead. And uh, just that afternoon was the first Intifada. So there was fighting between the Israelis and the Palestinians happening about a half a mile away. But the garments don't mean really anything other than the context in which they're worn. So uh, they're not magic robes or anything. They, they signify something. Uh, and that corresponds to the fact that ordination is real and the purpose of the priesthood is, is to bring uh, the reality of the kingdom of heaven and, and Jesus Christ, our loving good shepherd, uh, to reality for the people. To be a priest is, is not just a job. It's, it's uh, something has happened to your person. And so we reflect that um, because there's never a time that we're not a priest. It's not something that I do and clock in and clock out. Um, uh, we always remember that we represent Christ's high priesthood and we never forget that. <laughs>